What's going on guys? So welcome to this video. You guys requested a grocery haul and that is what we're gonna be doing today. It is Monday. So I usually do my grocery shoppings on Monday versus on Sunday because where I live we have cheap chicken Monday and all of the chicken breasts is $1.99 per pound. So I like to do most of my prep on Mondays. I'm gonna share with you guys my prep system as well as, I guess it'll be two videos. The first video is the haul and the budget. The second video will be what I'm making this week so let's go get started make sure you guys click that subscribe button and follow along on social media especially my Hales health account because I post a lot of recipes my workouts different tips and things like that and you just it's a good resource for you guys and now we can go show you what's going on we got some broccoli this was something for my parents because Broccoli kind of makes my stomach feel funky. I always buy like four to five zucchinis per week and then I'll pick one like fun fruit and so I got a seedless watermelon. I also usually buy blueberries, raspberries, or blackberries because they're buy one get one free. Uh, buy one get one free strawberries. Cashew milk, I usually buy two of these every two weeks. I'm sorry if you're Zuka, she is really loud today. I usually buy these on sale for $2.79. The grocery store usually sells them for $3.79, it gets pricey. So if it's on sale, I'll buy like four to six of them at a time, but I use it so much that it's something that I have to have. You can definitely buy lettuce not pre-cut and save some money, but when I do meal prep, this is so convenient, and my grocery store usually sells two for five or two for four, depending on the day. So I got hearts of romaine and spinach and arugula. So if you're gonna spend money to be really consistent with a diet and you wanna have success, you know that preparing food can be a hassle sometimes. Consistency over time is going to outweigh not being consistent because you're gonna keep trying, and then if you go off your diet, it's just gonna, you're spending more money and more money. Be consistent if you have to spend a little extra on getting some things already prepared but it keeps you on track I think it's well worth it so getting like the variety of lettuce saves me time preparing the actual salad because I just weigh it and put it into a container and I get variety between the dogs and my cat I don't even know I get variety because with the romaine I'll do like Asian style salads or Greek salads and with the spinach and arugula I'll do like strawberries with fat free feta and I get a lot of different variety it keeps it fun and actually I like enjoy my prep food or my diet food. I'll usually treat myself to a more expensive cut of meat like once a month. So this is 9.22 total and it is like six bucks a pound because it's that 96 for beef. And I'm gonna show you guys how I make these low fat brie and fig burgers. They are so good. So picked up these Joseph um, lavish bread. They have really good macros. The whole thing is 16 carbs, so half is eight. Three fat for the whole thing, 120 cal. Josh really likes these. For people who think salads are boring, let me just say you can really do a lot with salads and keep them pretty low calorie. So they have these fresh gourmet Asiago crisps. You can get cheddar, pepper jack, Parmesan, Romano, all kinds of different cheeses. Great macos, macos, macros, add some texture to your salads and some flavor. Reduced fat blue cheese. I showed you this at the grocery store actually. I don't usually buy three different cheeses at one time. This is definitely like a once a month maybe kind of a thing when I'm really feeling like it. But I've been eating so many salads that I kind of justified buying a little bit more expensive stuff this week. I also just posted a whole like series of photos on my Hales Health Instagram talking about my favorite grocery store dressings that have really good macros. There's a bunch of brands and varieties, so definitely go check that out. But this one, the Walden Farms Blue Cheese, is something that I pretty much keep in the pantry at all times, and it was on sale for $3.99 today, so that was nice. The fat-free Greek dressing from Maple Grove Farms. Maple Grove Farms also makes that sugar-free pancake mixture. Great macros. Then I also picked up some chicharrones or pork rinds. I love, love these for low carb days. And it will take 
the old fashioned like plain flavor, put butter spray on it and sprinkle them with stevia and cinnamon and put it on protein ice cream. Don't knock it until you try it. Now on average, I spend about 20 to 30 bucks every single week picking up the basics. And if I had to say like what the basics are, I would just say romaine lettuce, cashew milk, zucchini, some type of fruit, and like chicken. And that usually is like 20 to 30 bucks. I'll also throw in sugar free jello and power crunch bars because those are just like staples in my diet. And then we go to Costco once a week and we get the 36 pack of eggs, a case of the Kirkland liquid egg whites. It's a lot cheaper to buy it that way. We also buy two rotisserie chickens, which I've talked about countless times. That actually is a lot cheaper than buying chicken breasts and you get enough chicken for a little bit over, I mean, you shouldn't eat it over a week. We end up having to give some to the dogs because we have so much, but it's really good because buying chicken breasts is really expensive where I live at least. And this is just some of the ways that we've saved money. Another thing is that once a month I do like major restock grocery haul. So I will do a video on that as well, which is basically where I go to the store and I pick up a lot of like pantry things that I always have around, seasonings, different things that I'll keep in the freezer. If you are just starting out in meal prep, keep it really simple and definitely write out some recipe ideas before you write out a list. Like think about the actual food and meal concept before you're just like, well, we should get this and that and that, and then break it down that way. And then try to set a budget of anywhere from like 30 to $50 for your first kind of initial like getting started plan, maybe even a little more, maybe you really don't have a whole lot uh, to work with. So that's my initial starting tips. Second tip is to always work in the perimeter of the grocery store at least first. So produce and meats is always my kind of go-to so lean sources of protein and my fruits and veggies and then if you want to go in, inside the aisles and get any like cool flavorings and seasonings and try to make it fun go for it but definitely start off simple and you also save some money oh there's a bug in my eye yep yep Okay, so my third tip is to try to find wholesale clubs or farmer, uh, they're called like co-ops. So what we do is we have a membership for Costco and for BJ's and then also we have one for a restaurant distribution center. I don't know if that's like a normal thing in like every town or city. All you have to do is have a business like LLC or maybe you can get one through work, but you can go and get food in bulk for really cheap. I think we got 36 eggs for like five dollars or something crazy like that it's a really good like investment also check with your local farms and co-ops a lot of natural food stores will have information on this but you can join vegetable and fruit programs where you get sent like bulk fruits and veggies you can split it with people and it's really cheap and you're supporting local farmers and a lot of the time it's organic vegetables which is amazing because if you buy organic in the grocery store it's like paying an arm and a leg it's very frustrating and i will have a link of a bunch of different resources for you guys so you can kind of figure out how you want to purchase your food because grocery stores are not the only way to do it. Another thing, I know I've got like all these tips in this video. We like to grow a lot of fruits and vegetables as well and we live, like I said, in Delaware so we have cold winters, hot summers, you can make it work. You can do microgreens and herbs all year round inside but currently I will show you, well, I'll show you our garden. I feel like I never have really shown you guys like our house. So here's our garden. And I think some of our seeds are still germinating in the house, but we've got tomato plants, and then we'll usually do like lettuce and peppers, cucumbers, zucchini, and then we'll kind of save this area for like melons because they kind of go crazy. Grill in the summer and spring, food tastes way better. Um, yeah. Besides our flowers, this is a lemon tree, definitely not producing any lemons at the moment. And then we have basil, rosemary, and then over there is my dad's orange tree. That's pretty much how we do food on a weekly basis. But if you guys want to stick around for the next video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys the meal prep for this week. And then if you guys wanna see like a pantry tour or how we keep things kind of organized or what I like to buy for the pantry, let me know in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up, share it with a friend. I know so many people need help with nutrition and eating healthy because there's a lot of like garbage information out there. And I would love to just be able to help you guys. As always, I hope you're doing well and I will see you in the next video.